The Lincoln Academy's foundation consists of three pillars, rigorous academics, character education, and career exploration. Today, we will take a deeper dive into career exploration. One of the great things about being a K-4 through 12th grade academy is that we have the opportunity to start that career pillar right away in K-4. All of our scholars complete an individualized learning plan in which they kind of state, this is what I want to do when I grow up. And we all know that the earlier the age, the less um, solid the plans are, but through our different platforms like Zello and our career chats, we allow scholars to explore those different career options. Once we get into middle school, the scholars have opportunities to continue those individual learning plans, also participate in career panels, industry, field trips, career chats, job shadows, and then they also have the opportunity to participate in our exploratories. So right now we're making a um, automated greenhouse and I like that there's a lot of things I'm learning that I have not learned before um, and it's, it's challenging. You know, we have the underwater robot tank right here in the construction labs. Now scholars are asking, well, what is that class? What are we doing there? That looks cool. That's different. That's a different type of building and engineering. You know, and then we put the, put the ROV in the water and drive around and it's like, oh, can I take this class? It's like, yeah, take up all these classes. Here we're thinking of two paths. One path is performance, so you'll see scholars performing on the drums or the buckets or other instruments. Then the, the second path is uh, producing music, so scholars might be composing things, whether it's in the traditional sense of paper pencil or online. They might be using some applications that will help them produce beats, rhythms, multiple layers and tracks of music. My favorite thing about the computer science class is that I get to have a Google Meet every morning with people who are experts in their field and who use computer science every day. There are actually over almost 570,000 open computing jobs in the United States right now. And we only graduated 160,000 computer science majors. So there's a great need. They're really open to helping you find what interests you and what doesn't and helping you find your way to your future. Every scholar deserves to learn how to write an algorithm that a computer can understand. Every scholar needs to know the basics of developing an app and how it would impact the world. We had a STEAM night that coincided with parent-teacher conferences a couple of weeks ago and they had the opportunity in the library to operate the robots that we were building in our middle school exploratory course. And the eyes just lit up on those little kids to see what they could do and the fact that, hey, this is a class I can take in school here. And they get the opportunity to hear from those experts and ask questions that'll allow them to do a little research and, and pique a little bit more interest before they dig too deep into commitments. Like the HVAC people brought in actual tin snips and actual pieces of metal and like, the scholars were cutting them and joining them and just talking with them. So it's different sometimes than the teacher talking to them, saying, you know, every day I'm, give, I'm, I'm giving them constant words of encouragement, but if an outsider comes in and says, hey, you look like a natural, it's a pretty powerful statement. Before taking the welding class, I wasn't really interested because I didn't know much about it. But after taking the welding class, I'm really interested and I wanted to take a career into it. Sometimes scholars only see the obvious and they don't see all the behind the scene things that go on for career opportunities. For instance, like with theater, um, they might just see, well, I have to be an actor, that's the only career possibility. No, you could be a set decorator. You could be work in marketing and sell a production. There's a lot of different side uh, careers around so-called music talent on stage that really can make a decent living. Art can be placed in marketing. Art can be placed, especially with stained glass, learning how to solder. That can transfer over into IT. And it's also, I feel like ceramics has taught a good life skill of things break. Especially when something is greenware, it's super, super fragile, or something's being bisqueared and it explodes in the kiln, right? It's preparing them to know that Things don't always go okay the first time, and that's okay. I have a lot of plant science scholars who are artistic, and they're like, wow, I could do landscape design, and they get an opportunity to study it and see what they actually do in landscape design. And it involves technology as well, because a lot of designers 
they design their landscape using computer technology. But whenever scholars have those aha moments or they're like, oh my goodness, this is really an option, I feel a sense of pride to be completely transparent. We have the tools that they need in order to really pursue something that they're passionate about. So as an educator, it's very exciting to see one of my scholars who didn't know they had an interest in this all of a sudden develop an interest or a strong liking for a subject matter within you know, the field of tech ed. And that gets me excited and amplified and I kind of radiate it throughout the classroom. I try to bring that energy to let them know that it's okay to be excited about something in school. Embedded within our vision, the very fabric of who we are at TLA is making sure that scholars can lead a choice-filled life. And a part of leading that choice-filled life is knowing that they have options and, and having the experience and the knowledge about what those options are. Those goals when they leave here in 12th grade is to either go into post-secondary education, whether it be a technical school or a four-year school, go into the armed services or enter a living wage job. And that's why our career pillar is so important because we um, give scholars exposure to what's out there and we really help them set a foundation so that when they walk out of this building, when they graduate the Lincoln Academy, they really have a great opportunity and a plan to, to succeed in life.